What is up everybody, it's Ray here, and for today I'm here talking about Akko and her beautiful dress. You see what I did there? Akko dress? We'll be looking at her stats and skills, her performance and where she shines, and overall grade her compared to the other students in game. Also, this is the very first student spotlight video I'll be doing, so please leave a like and subscribe because it really helps out a lot. Now, let's go and see what she has to offer as a brand new student in the roster. So Akko dress's role is a support slash middle type unit whose damage type is explosive, in which is very effective against light type enemies and very ineffective against special and structure types while having a normal effect against heavy types. Her combat class is Striker, which means she'll be present on the field every second of the battle, while her strongest affinity is in outdoors while having the weakest affinity in urban areas and having a neutral affinity towards indoors. Now to those who are unaware, students who have the strongest affinity in a terrain gets a damage up bonus, while those who have the weakest have a damage down bonus and those who have a neutral type affinity doesn't really get anything at all. Her gear is the shoes which in T1 has an attack percentage of 4, fully maxed shoes which is the aqua sandals T9 has an attack percentage of 42, a hairpin which its T1 provides max HP for 400 and a T9 provides a max HP of 11,000, CZ resistance percentage of 34 and 150 critical rate. A T1 watch provides over 80 crit rate and its T9 version provides 400 40 crit rate, 2500 crit damage, and max HP of 13%. A 3 star aqua dress stats at level 87 with all T9 equipment has an attack of 2468, accuracy of 439, stability of 900, attack speed of 10,000, defense of 96, evasion of 720, firing range of 550, movement speed of 200, HP over 47,265, critical rate of 809, CC strength of 100, cost recovery of 700, healing for over 4,951, critical damage over 2,700, CC resistance of 134, and ammo per size is 8 and ammo per bust is 2. With a total bonus affection rank 50 being attack plus 89 and HP 1,225. Her EX skill, Perfect Agent, increases the critical rate by 19.8% and critical damage by 57.5% for 30 seconds for allies within a circular range and additionally add one perfect bodyguard to each ally up to a maximum of 15. Her normal skill, don't miss the target, for every 35 seconds, decrease the defense of one enemy by 24% for 22 seconds. Deal damage depending on the number of perfect bodyguards owned. 3 or less deal 496 to 942% damage. 4 to 7 deal 531 to 1010 damage. 8 to 11 deal 584 to 1111 damage. 12 or more deal 638 to 1212 damage. Her passive skill, Agent Confidence, increases HP by 26.6%, and her subskill, Operation Results, increases attack by 5.7% for each perfect bodyguard. By unlocking her unique weapon and getting it to 2 stars, her passive skill changes to Agent Confidence Plus, where it also increases her attack by 329. Akko Dress also has a unique cafe interaction known as the Classic Sofa Table Set in the cafe, which Hina Dress also shares the set with Akko Dress. Similar to Nagisa and Mika. Her favorite gifts to receive are the health food supplement, jumping detective rabbit, a trip through the misty hot springs, nutrient rich multivitamin jellies. She also likes these gifts as well. We have the buried treasure map, encyclopedia, extravagant gilded jar of greed, retro jeweled egg, wind up music box, and world's most useless gadget. And these are all the materials needed in order to level up her skills. For skill leveling recommendation, I would prioritize her EX skill, then her normal skill, followed by her sub skill, and level her passive skill last. So, Akko Dress EX skill sounds good. It's almost similar to her base form EX skill as it gives out critical rate and critical damage. The only difference between the two is that the regular Akko can only buff one student, while Akko Dress can buff anyone as long as they are inside her range. 
and also the numbers from the buffs the student received isn't that high compared to what the base form can give to one student. Regular Akko gives a critical rate by 39.5% and critical damage by 73.3%, while Akko Dress gives critical rate by 19.8% and critical damage by 57.5%. So clearly, her base form is still better when it comes to buffing allies. Not to mention, between the two, regular Akko has a 3 energy cost, meanwhile Akko Dress has 5. So making the rotation kinda slower compared to her regular form. But I have seen people using Dress Akko specifically in Hieronymus and that's also because of her normal skill where it decreases the defense of one enemy by 24% for 22 seconds. Now since Hieronymus is a light type, explosive students will definitely shine here and before Aqua Dress came out, a lot of people seemed to use Azusa because of her normal skill reducing the enemy defense by 24.6% with the duration of 20 seconds. And with her sub skill plus her EX skill, Azusa is really a good unit to invest in. But with Aqua Dress coming up, the extra 2 seconds from her normal skill alone can really help get more damage done and with each perfect bodyguard, Aqua Dress can deal a lot of damage depending on how much perfect bodyguard she can own during the battle. So Aqua Dress is a pretty good unit to invest in. For new players, if you want to pull for Aqua Dress, make sure you still have some Pyroxenes left saved up considering by next week, Hina Dress and Hoshino Sunsu's banners will be coming out, and those two are recommended students to have in the game. So if I were to rate Ako Dress, I would give her an A. She is waifu material, she's limited, she also has a special interaction with Hina Dress, her skills are alright, and she's more useful in Hieronymus, but if you don't really care about those stuff and just want to use her because you like the character, you absolutely can. Her memorial lobby is great and her buffing isn't the best, but with the range it has, it's pretty fine. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this spotlight video. Leave a like and comment down below if you'll be pulling for Akko Dress when her banner arrives. That's it for me and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. See ya!